Welcome back guys to Trails of Cold Steel 2, where last episode we commenced the operation to take down Aurochs Fort and apprehend Duke Alborea, assaulting it while the 4th Armoured and RMP distracted the main army by feigning the attack on the town of Berehard. Our first challenge to overcome turned out to be Scarlet piloting a Kestrel, as Valimar and Reen vowed not to let someone else pass on before them, for Sarah fought a solo battle versus her old Jaeger Corps. Now we continue through the fort, heading ever upward toward Eustace's father. I guess it's time for me to use an art a little bit here. Someone's got some holy breath after all. No one else have a heal? Yeah, there we go. In the back party. Right, let's open this up. We got rid of that beastie. Yeah, didn't know that guy had that. And then, of course, it goes across the entirety of our guys. <laughs> What is the prize? An HP 2. Some of these don't seem very, uh... I'll handle this. Some of these seem very underwhelming, don't right. they? My turn. Now's our chance. We can do this. Here I go. Just go with the Alton Leaf Cutter, because, uh... Burn to ash. End them. Whatever. Fall! Wait, one of them instant. One of them got crit. He very dead. Okay. Never mind. They're all dead. Hey. Now's our chance. There. Oh, nice to see us come out on top. Being able to use a strike that causes faint and then feeds into other criticals is pretty silly. As Usis gets a new S craft, Astial Knight can now be used. Area extra large. Seal 100%. An almighty attack from the top of a horse. Is that... I don't know. Is that, does that count off his melee? Does that count off... He's got new stuff. Oh, SSS Plus. I just believe it counts off something. Eustace is ready to go. He's got a new S-Craft just before he faces his dad. Poor dad. I feel sorry. No, I don't. There is nothing you could say that would make me feel sorry for his dad. This is awfully tight. Can I just open that bit of screwdrivers? I know it's easy to go around, but still. It's where the floor falls out from under me. It was a trap all along. <laughs> we can never feel sorry for his dad. That's not allowed. Nope. His orders directly killed someone. I want to open the door, but I can't. Very well. I will serve as your opponent. Right. Let me open the door. Let me in. Let me in. Here I go. There. My turn. I think I'll just attack that guy and then. Oh, he did get now. critical too. I'll set you up. I'm gonna say, and then let the spell do the rest. Because this will restore his EP to full because he's multi targeting. Why don't we test out that S craft soon? Well, you know where I'm gonna use it if I get the chance. Alright, let's keep going. You know where the planned usage is now. <laughs> Look at me go! But I want his his power, because of course Noble Command is really good. In fact, most of his stuff is ridiculously good. Like overusing an S break for him or an S craft. Just look, Noble Command with a big buffs. You've got Treasure Sword, which does massive area damage and stat effects. You've got Platinum Shield that in a medium area gives you guard it's Sky shield, but not exactly that good. It's like, what, what, what version of it is Sky's? He's just got ridiculously good stuff. Just ridiculously good stuff. So you want to CP for that. Hello, you. You don't get stunned, I know, but I can get at least a single advantage. Let's get him. My turn. Well, we're already on a thingy again. So, by my imagination and estimation... There. 
<laughs> Small fry will die. So we'll get an 80 delay on... Did I get on both of them then? Great. I haven't actually scanned the provincial officer yet, but of course, when I'm getting this stuff, I'm going to use this. Try this! I'm never going to scan it this way. I'll handle this. Uh, we want to go first, so that'll do me, except the non set position kind of makes it a little bit Focus annoying. Activate. My turn. Uh, do I get the scan on you now then? Let Laura do that. I really shouldn't scan to the bottom of the thing. He's having a nice sleep, which means we're getting a critical. A quite and provincial army officer in charge of a platoon. These are men with a saber and powerful arts. <laughs> Missed! It's my turn! Oh, he's actually far enough away that he didn't get got by that. Argus activate! Let's move! That's your target there, Reen. Oh, we're burning on him. Try this. You want to lower it enough so that Elliot can get the kill? I think we're good, right? Lots of spell animation. Here. Curse you! All right, let's keep going. Level 101 for Reen. Great. <laughs> Money for Laura. Just, huh? Thank goodness. Money for Elisa. Laura's not got a new S craft yet. Hmm. Who else hasn't got their new S craft yet? Green. Laura. Quite a lot of people. Uh, Machias hasn't got. What's this? Were you trying to build something there? I don't know. So that allows us to get back to our previous area by the look of it. We may as well hit the switch. Emma and Reed. Poor people still. Poor, poor people without their overwhelming power to help them out. Watch out, guys. My turn. They're ready to curse me. Burn to ash. Fall! My turn. This is it. I'll set you up. Poor guy's fainted to the end of time. Right. He's burning as well. All right, let's keep going. Green destroyer of mobs. Right, let's place and a couple of barrels down here. Come on, Laura, get your randomly attacking them, but still getting a break on them. No, it's not going to happen, okay. Bring it up. Here I go. Burn to ash. Fall! We see a pattern emerge. We'll cut our own path. The CP regains straight there. It just keeps funding him when you do that. Right, what's in here? A telegraphy chest. A crappy one. New material times eight? Oh, sorry, I take it all back. A beautiful, beautiful treasure chest that I would lick the insides of. No, I wouldn't. I'm sure they'd eat me up or they'd be a bottomless pit or some kind of monster. We've learned from this guy. We don't go messing with chests. Don't lick the chest. Made it. You're cornered now, father. And everyone's at maximum CP. It's just Eustace's EP to be restored. Right, let's drop a save. It's time to have our reckoning with father. Time to sort out the real useless Alvare, right?
Oh, not you! Uses! To Galborea, or Boros. I did wonder whether someone from the society might be here with all those archaisms walking around. <laughs> oh, how nice it is to see you all again. Long time no see. Huh? Where'd Purple Lightning go? Pretty sure I saw her with you when you entered the fortress. She's downstairs. She can't make it, I'm afraid. Oh, how did you even make it here? What does that terrorist and those Jaegers think they're doing? The terrorist was defeated, and the Northern Jaegers withdrew from this fortress not long ago. The Noble Alliance has completely turned its back on you. You have nowhere left to run, Father. Please, surrender with good grace. How dare you speak that way to me? Who do you think I am? I am the head of the House Alborea, the ruler of the Kreutzen province, and one of the four great houses! Your status does nothing to excuse your actions. No amount of power can grant you the freedom to raise your own lands. The market manager lost his life because of you. Silence! The people in that pitiful excuse of a town willingly sat back and accepted an enemy force squatting in my territory. This country's future is as a nation ruled by the nobility, and those shameless fools have no place in it! How is that beyond your comprehension? Father, I think we've talked enough. Let's just arrest him. Yep, Claire's still out fighting, so we've got to get our part of the job done, too. Oh, aren't we overconfident? Do you honestly think it will be that simple? Lord Rufus may have chosen to abandon his father, but until we're told it is no longer necessary, we will fulfill the mission we have been given. I suggest you abandon all hope of victory, for we will be your opponents. <laughs> I fear for our chances against both of them at once. No, I'm good. Excuse me? Can't deny I'm a little interested in what that black-haired kid can do. But with the purple lightning missing in action, you can take this one on your own. See ya. Maybe next time we get a chance to fight, it'll be in somewhere that can take the heat. Ah! He is unbelievable! This is why I hate working with him! <laughs> Your partner's not the most reliable one in Ouroboros now, is he? So? You still intend to take us on even without him? <sighs> so, you all think you can make a fool out of me, do you? Come forth! Vanguard F3! Slay fear! Archaisms? We may have fought before. But that was a mere taste of what I'm truly capable of. Come at me with all that you have. I am the head knight of the Stormrider, Duvali the Swift. And I shall defeat every one of you! We'll see about that. Here she comes! We'll be the ones defeating you. Now, draw your weapons. Here I go. All right, Duvalis here, Slepnirs are here, Slepnirs are there, Slepnirs are everywhere. Oh no, I don't have enough to do Super S Craft. Balls. I need another turn. If I do a Chrono Drive and cast that, and then do my S Craft, will that not? Will that count? Because I'll get CP two hundred. Will that not count for my gem, my Domination gem? Because I think it's first craft or first attack. I could end up losing the bonus damage, but I'm thinking of just doing this and then buffing speed with Usis. But what I can do is I can go into this, uh, okay, cast that spell, detect her over there. Reen will get 200 CP just naturally from what he's doing there. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. 
Analysis complete. The Vanguard type arcade has designed for protecting strongholds, improved in every way over the original. 100 level, 76,000 HP. Huh. Alright, the move speed up. Hopefully, this will go quite well for me. I don't know if this works for domination courts this way round. It might be better for me to go with delays, actually, but... That does... Yeah, near 50k with 80 delay. Oh, you're not going to freeze someone, are you? You freeze, Dreen? You didn't freeze anyone. My turn. Good to hear. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Okay, leave, leave it to, it to me. me. My turn. Yes, it is your turn, Laura. In more than one attack. Oh, I didn't kill him. Take this. I just need to go in, I think. Come Let's get rid of the go. robots. You're finished. Ask the on night. <laughs> Treasure these final Five moments. moments. <laughs> Alright, that's the robots dealt with. Right. Just you left. I think I should probably cast a resounding beat rather than a sector right now. Keep it up, everyone. My turn. A little bit of defense would never hurt at this point. Uh, do you have the possibility for me to really delay you? No. What I want to do is I want to switch you to the other side. Even though that'll take you out of noble command range. Confuse? Well, that's annoying. That's incredibly annoying. But can't I cure it with, like, this? We're not weak anymore to your ball! And we got a CP back. Now's our chance. Let's go, everyone! I'll handle okay, this. Understood. You really look like you're enjoying this. How are you still standing? My turn. Well, you see. The power of friendship. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Need to me. Here I go. All right, we've got lots of extra speed. I'm gonna keep arc slashing. Ha! Now, there. Still haven't detected you yet. Okay. But I am wondering if I just want to get a heal across the group at this point. Let's face it, some people are a bit weaker than others. That said, I do also have it in craft form. And I can do it a different way too when I think about Analyzing it. Analyzing enemy attack patterns. Analysis complete. At night of the Steel Maiden led Stalrider. She somehow seems more tired than usual. Here I go. I balance this down a little bit more. I'm amazed I've been getting these unbalances on her. Do I overdrive or not? I want to use him. You know, I might want to use overdrive to cure it if someone else gets confused. Oh, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Laura's dead. What about me? Prism, I 
wasn't strong enough. Very well. Well, that was worrying. Big spell, big hurdy, but at least it's gone now. Uh, right. Uh, Holy Song does not reach here. It looks like I get two turns, so what I might do is I might move over to here. You have my thing. That's the first time I've used a red spell. Legit. I won't yeah, give up. Only I could hit that delay. I'd be right. so good. Listen to my song of healing. Thanks. You have my thanks. My turn. Right, more hills across the party. I've kind of lost my status buffs at this point, of course. That's a bit annoying. Arcus, activate! I have a feeling she's going to go for Usis as a priority from here on out. Here I go. Wondering if I could reach more, but it doesn't look like I can. Please delay. Ha! Damn it. <laughs> Try and see through this. Yes! Right, you're going to confuse Usis again. Onward. Well, we can always meddle with that. Let's put it that way. Oh, you can't link together! Oh, but Elliot and Eustace can! I guess that's not too good for us then. Not what I wanted to see at this point. My crafts are down. Okay. No, they can't overdrive either. That cures all, but Usus is not close enough. So Usus might do something to me. I don't like the thought of that, but hey, if things happen, they happen, right? Keep it up, everyone. Let's move. All right, he can go again on the next turn, so here's where we link with Usus and cure him of his problems. Cure him of what ails him. Here goes! Overdrive! Alright, well, Busis is back up to a CP gaining amount now. Go on, get the delay. Now's our chance! One day. There. My turn. Alright. How do we plug this into some other kind of cool attack? You're not actually weak to any kind of spell in particular. So I actually do wonder if I just want to use stuff to... Now's our chance! Don't let it pass! Leave Leave it to me. make us better. Let's move! Ha! Now! Not getting good luck there. What's your shadow brand? AT delay 2. Okay. Why do you have all these abilities? Pee off with all these crazy abilities. Uh, try this. You have I my suppose face. I should thank you. Here I go. She can AT delay me, and I'm failing at doing it back. Yeah! My turn. Now right. I can noble command from a good spot. Arcus activate. I can even charge Onward. up some spells and go to work a little bit. Get our insight. You would use my overdrive, so. I 
didn't realize I didn't have anyone with a, like a recurrier or something on anyone. My turn. Now's our chance. Don't let it pass. Right, Leave it to me. Here I go. It's my turn. Not hitting them again. Arcus activate. But now we're just piling on some damage in her direction. With the ATS up that's been increased as well. I'll Delay comes in. That's what you call the game. Is really wanted to do fulfill my duty as a noble. 2.3 times sell experience. Job done. Level 102 for Green, 100 for Elliot. And so many of us so close. I did it! That should suffice. 99 for Eustace. 100 for Elliot. <laughs> I've only just begun. 99 for Laura. <laughs> Look at me 98 go! for Million. <laughs> I'm so 99 glad. for Lisa. Job done. Mission complete! We were able to overcome her after all, but I wonder, didn't she seem unusually tired? Ugh. First I disgraced myself in Crossbell, and now here. How am I to face my illustrious lord who told me to serve as witness here now? Um, I'm not sure what you're talking about, but... Now nothing stands in our way. You've nowhere left to run, father. How dare you, Eusis! And you, girl! What do you think you're doing? You will protect me! Girl? <laughs> you seem to have greatly misconstrued my reason for being here. The mission assigned to me was to come and watch this fortress fall. No one ever said anything about protecting you. What? Watch this fortress fall? You thought to abandon me the moment you arrived? Very much so. Those were Duke Cayenne and Lord Rufus's orders, you see. Besides, my lord would never forgive the odious crimes you have committed. And quite frankly, neither can I. You should be weeping with gratitude I haven't taken my sword to you myself. No. Well, there she goes. I'm still curious who her lord is, but I suppose now isn't the time. <sighs> Eusis. I know. Father. No. Your Grace Duke Helmolt Alberea. You are hereby under arrest on suspicion of arson and property damage in Keldic, as well as causing harm to the people of Kreutzen. Please, do not attempt to resist. Duke Alberea was then taken into custody by the hands of his own son, Eusis. After Princess Alfin announced as much to the people of the surrounding area, the Kreutzen Provincial Army ceased hostilities, and the battles taking place around Bereahard City came to an end. Heeding Eustace's orders, the Provincial Army left for Orc's Fort, meaning that Bereahard would come under the 4th Armoured Division's jurisdiction for the time being. Furthermore, the Alberea family mansion was placed under the jurisdiction of the RMP, and Duke Alberea and Scarlet were to be confined there for the time being. Afterwards, the Courageous successfully landed at Breohard Airport for supplies and maintenance. It was then that Class 7 opted to rest and see how things were faring in the city for themselves. 
Hey, the next day. No long Christmas. Things should be fine here for the time being, I'd say. Bereha has technically been removed from the war now that Duke Albrea has been arrested. Granted, the nobles here probably aren't too happy about being under the Imperial Army's jurisdiction. The Frigil Army's mostly still intact too. We can't afford to let our guard down just yet. I should go check how things are in town. Plus, I'm curious about how Eustace and Scarlet are doing. I should pay a visit to the Albrea mansion before heading back to the Courageous. Morning points again, which can be used to trigger morning events. Will be allocated during stopover days. We know, game. <laughs> to announce the story, visit the Albrea's family mansion and then choose to board the Courageous at the airport. Viewing a character's event here is one of the requirements to seeing a special event with them at the end of the game. Wow. Okay, so we use all the bonding points with Emma. <laughs> For the duration of the stopover day, Bray Hart's town map can be accessed by pressing the square button. Sure thing. Can I go anywhere? Well, there's actually yellow person stuff over there. Ah, it's Lord. We've made it a point to station the bare minimum of soldiers here, so as not to upset the citizens too much. Actually, if you want to help out on that front, we'd like you to report any and all happenings to us if possible. I'm sure you'll all have a better grasp of what's happening in town than we will. Where's Laura going? I wonder why Laura's going out to the canyon alone. I know she can handle herself just fine, but still. <laughs> yeah, she's fine. Alright, so we have to go out there to do the bondy. I haven't missed the bonding now because I didn't go. Okay, I can still go that way. When someone leaves the town, it always makes you very curious about doing their event, to be perfectly fair. We've got six bonding points, by the way, so we've got an extra one. I think Laura's already on the list because she's left town. That's interesting. Seeing Berea taken over by the reformists certainly isn't something I expect to see in my lifetime. This isn't some sort of strange dream, is it? It feels far too surreal. Great Bereard overtaken by those reformist cretins. How dare they, how dare they! If only Lord Rufus were here, you would eradicate them for us. If only Lord Rufus were here! How is Princess Alfin involved in all of this? Official statements claim she was being kept safe in Heimdall. Lord Rufus refused to make a move, despite the peril we faced too. I hate to make assumptions, but well, something seems off here. Assumptions? You mean logical assumptions? And now, for several games, Still, this poor butler has been standing around this shop. It seems like we'll be returning home in a timely manner today. What a relief. Hey! I was rather worried when she mentioned she was going out. These are dangerous times, after all. Terrifying indeed. Seeing so many tanks and armored cars in town almost made my heart stop. Why must we get swept up in all of this when it's a man's job to deal with war? Ah, oh, I'm so fraught with worry. I can hardly focus on anything. Yesterday was truly something else. Both myself and my husband were terrified. We never expected that Duke Albrea would be arrested either. What does this mean for Berea Hart? I do wonder. I've talked to you already, haven't I? There's a surprising lack of Imperial soldiers in the town. That came as a bit of a shock. Perhaps there's no need for us to feel friend then. Maybe not. They're an occupying force, but not in that sense. An occupying force actually brings connotations of bad things, I feel. Yesterday was absolutely terrifying. We could hear the battle taking place even in here. I don't think we could have asked for a bigger reminder that our country's at war. And yet, nothing happened to your town, but it did to Keldic. Be sympathetic, please. I never would have expected the Duke to fall from power. Of course, what he did to Keldic was beyond horrific, so perhaps he had it coming. Oh, okay, Henderson's, Henderson's got his head screwed on right. <laughs> the better question now is, what'll become of the taxes? That's my main concern. <laughs> taxes? Do I want any of these? Do you have a paper, maybe? Nope. Very nope. Well, technically, I could see what our total cash is looking like now. 66k. Yusuf's recent actions had me thinking. If my father stuck from the path of righteousness, would I be able to do the same thing Yusuf did? Would you? I don't even want to think about it. It couldn't have been easy for him, of course. It'd take a lot of strength to stand up to your father like that. But I'm sure having our support is helping him make it through. You might not say it, but I think he appreciates us being here. You might be right. Aside from our support helping him, he's so full of himself that he's bound to recover once his ego reinflates itself. Uh, no, nope, I have shopping to do. <laughs> we not want to show too much compassion, would we, Machias? What could he be here to buy, though? Honey! We need honey facts! Honey, 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 honey. Chicago. Still can't believe all this is really happening. 
First we were told the Noble Alliance had the advantage, but then Brayhard was pulled into the war. And now the Imperial Army is stationing their troops here. It's just asking for trouble. Is it though? We can buy shoes of various types, but I think they are to the maximum of where we are currently. Ish. 50 defense for a strength down on the shoes I'm currently wearing. We can buy more passion leggings. So many armored cars sped through town. Then we heard cannon fire and gunshots on the highway. Oh, I can't believe this would happen so close to town. Why can't this war just end already? It's what everyone wants to know, but at the moment it looks like we're trying to rush to end this war before the year ends at this point. Seems like that's our target. Will it all culminate on the 31st? I heard about what Duke Albrea did to Keldic. It's hardly an action one can condone in my opinion. I believe most others feel the same. He's probably receiving his just desserts now. I know if he'll even understand what just desserts are. Wait, we haven't got your upgraded weapon, Lisa? I didn't even realise that. We may as well wait for our next kind of like act to begin because we're obviously past act two part three because that's the general flow of the game. So we'll wait for your next weapon to appear, I guess. Christie's is full of Kreutzen's most recognised stores, so we can't afford to close shop regardless of the circumstances. We have our pride, you know. Well, I do admit to being unclear on what we should do from here on out. The reason we're on Kreutzen's most recognised galleria is because we serve as nobles, after all. Do you have anything to sell me? Oh, my good. Uh, we've already got Imperial Chronicle Ish 5. We could have re-got all the food we may have missed. The stuff from before. Heart Handbook. I think you can actually trade them in to make something like these handbooks to make a bigger thing. I think I saw that on the trade list. What's Millium up to? Hmm, which one do I want? Hey Millium, never picked you as the bookstore type. What are you looking for? I'm not, I just want a good book for making sweet stuff. After all our hard work, I thought it'd be nice to make a treat for everyone. Wow, that's really thoughtful of you. I'm sure the others would be thrilled. It's not surprising to hear that she thought this up out of the blue too. Mm -hmm. Just you wait. You guys are going to love it. Whatever it is. No promises I won't eat it all up before you get the chance to try it, okay? It might be too delicious to resist. As thoughtful as she's being, I'm kind of nervous about letting her cook on her own. Cooking with Millium. Shopping with Machias. Probably some form of battling with Laura, which is way more interesting. Let's get out there then. Don't work. Toa, is something wrong? Oh no, it's nothing. I was just thinking about Berehard finally being freed from the Duke's clutches and ended up spaced out. You know when you finish something you're really nervous about and all the exhaustion washes over you once? Yes. That's what I'm going through. But don't worry about me, I'll be back on the ship by the time everyone else is. The more she tells me not to worry, the more worried I get. I wonder if she needs to talk to someone. Talking with Toa. I should focus on getting some rest, can't head out on the highway. Uh, there's someone there. Oh, Celine. Well, I guess everything worked out for the best back there. Even if the society's plans are still a big scary blank right now. I'm trying not to think about it. The important thing is we brought a little more peace to Brayhard. I just hope the Duke and Scarlet show some signs of repentance. Speaking of which, I was surprised by at the way you saved that terrorist. You're probably the first person ever to use their night like that. Well, there's something impressive about you, Irene. Come again. <laughs> you heard nothing. I'm the first person to think of cutting an of opposing knight in half, I doubt. <laughs> oh, time to relax. You should probably follow my lead. Trust me, you're gonna need your energy soon enough, so might as well get as much of it as back as you can. Why not after all? There's still no fishing I can do here, is there? Couldn't find a fishing spot here before, after all. Can't go in the sewer, it's, it's locked and we need... Emma and... What was it? Aloha Mora? Aloha Mora? I don't know. I'm not very good. I'm not very up on my pots. I wonder what's going to happen to Kelding now. Sure, that Duke Abare has been dealt with, but that's not going to heal the sadness in their hearts. And apprehending his own dad isn't exactly going to cheer you stuff either. It's pretty damn. I wonder if I can do something to cheer him up. What, music again? We're gonna have another- we're gonna busk again, are we? What ends up happening all the time? 
I thought this was a flower pot on flower plot. Yeah, great. I'm going really well with the words right now. Flower pot on wheels. I certainly never expected things to come to this. I wouldn't be so sure, though, after all, considering what Princess Alphen said. What'd she say? Huh. Have you heard of Duke Albrea's current predicament? Lord Rufus remains a major part of the Noble Alliance, so it may be possible for this situation to be reversed. Are they just really nobles? <laughs> I, I guess I'd like to sit at this table and just go, uh, suck it to these guys, though. Rayard is now under the Imperial Army's jurisdiction, you say? Oh, Edios, what an awakening nightmare is this? This simply can't be real! I knew they'd be upset. I heard that Lord Eustace was appointed acting head of the Albrea family after the Duke's arrest. What is the meaning of this? Why was he chosen over Lord Rufus? I mean, he did do the arresting and all. Hello! Theresia, come join us. Why can't you understand, Father? All I want is to join my schoolmates in the Courageous. Which is precisely why I'm opposed. You're a daughter of the nobility. You can't go off gallivanting at a time like this. This is exactly the time to go. Maybe if you weren't so thick-headed, you understand that. Thick-headed? How dare you use such language towards your own father. Looks like Theresia's busy at the moment. I could try again once I've met up with the rest of the game. Theresia, see, you could just walk away and just go on the ship. Honestly. When in the world would you learn such vulgar language? I knew it was a mistake to let you interact with commoners at that academy. I swear, Father, I'll cut all ties with you if you say that again. Reese's got her head screwed on. Good day. Saucy Air will be open for business as usual today. Think of this as an opportunity to cast aside your worries and enjoy a fine meal. I thank you. Are the rumors of what happened to Keldic true? If so, I'm not entirely sure if I should be doing business like this after all. The battles may have come to an end, but who knows how business will go from here on out. I lost a good friend recently, too. Just go back and pay him our respects. Market manager, yeah? Hey, did you hear the rumor about his majesty being held captive in Heimdall? The Noble Alliance has been keeping all sorts of stuff from us. I can totally believe it. Man, can you imagine what a scandal that would be if it turned out to be true? He sells elegant pilaf. I need make some more of the CP restoring stuff, really. Welcome. Now you're planning on resting today. I can only imagine how exhausted you must be after all this happened. Allow me to be so bold as to request that you all stay by Lord Eustace's side as much as possible as well. While they were never on good terms, having to arrest his own father must have hurt him more than he's letting on. We'd we'll be honored to, sir. We'll keep up with you, kid. No one's here. Recent events have been rather unsettling for us all. I just hope my music can help soothe our customers' woes. No second dialogue. Where's Baron Lady Name? Can't remember. Can't believe chat, you were discussing what type of Pokemon people would be in Trails of Cold Steel typing wise. What? What? I must admit there's a relief to know the Croyston Provincial Army has no need to fight anyone anymore. Lord Eustace has even ordered them to stay put at our Oaks Fort too. Phew, now there's no need to worry for my husband's safety. Everyone says we lost the war. But who cares? Daddy can come back home now. Uh huh. He's gonna have to play with me lots to make up for being away for so long. That's a good thing. Hello again. Oh, the citizens here look as though they're just awoken from the deepest of slumbers. Very well then, allow me to teach them the true meaning of love. It's an emotion that lingers deep within all our hearts, after all. Whenever I come up to him, I know his name is. I, I always try to think, like, I know his name, but I always go Peter in my head. Peter Andre. And I can't get away from it. Don't worry about us. Lord Eustace always made it a point to tell us to come here if things ever got dangerous. We can't really hear what goes on outside from here either, so Rabbi doesn't get scared. Some really scary stuff happened yesterday, but I was here with Annette, so I wasn't scared at all. Good job, Annette. Oh, hello there. You're, you're Tadiana, you mean the next there. Oh, hello there. You two have been stopping by rather often as of late. Of course, it's always a pleasure to see you so full of energy. Might I ask how you're faring? We're fine. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's good to hear. I know your heart will likely be in chaos for a while yet, so try to stay out of trouble. In fact, I'd prefer it if you stay in the church as much as possible. You'll be much safer here. Okay. Considering the church is kind of operated in a way that it has its own central command somewhere else, and they're allowed to operate in other territories to do their duties after all, 
you'd imagine a church would be the safest place to be because an attack on a church would be like declaring war against another nation nearly, wouldn't it? We sent a number of relief provisions to the people of Keldon. Of course, no amount of material aid can heal the scars in their hearts. I only wish there was more we could do for them. Today's mass will be about St. Veronica, a woman whose unwavering faith shone brightly during the Dark Ages. In fact, her devout prayers were enough to bring forth a miracle which saved many from great tragedy. Let this be a lesson that through faith, there is nothing for us to fear. Let this be a lesson. Oh, how frightful! First the tanks, and then the gunfire and explosions! Why is this happening in Bereyard of all places? I mean, it could be that your leader was corrupt. Evil. It's good that we were able to put an end to the issue of Eustace's father, but the winds that blow through this nation grow more tempestuous. So I'm here to pray that they might finally come, at least a little. I could probably use a little prayer right now. Do you want to pray with guys? Check the town out first, then we'll choose our bondings. Yes, it was so frightening. We could hear the battle taking place from here. On the bright side, it gave me the chance to get acquainted with the lady next door. Mm -hmm. She has so many interesting stories to tell. Your father doesn't enjoy you, say? How magnificent. Perhaps you could introduce her sometime? Of course. He'd like her too, I'm sure. Yeah, he would. Where's your dad? Poor dad. Esmeralda will remain open for business despite all that has happened. The Duke's arrest certainly came as a shock, but I'm just relieved that the city itself is in no danger. The Imperial Army seems to be doing their best to avoid stirring up any trouble, which I appreciate. I bet you do. Many of our customers are uneasy after everything that happened yesterday. However, the battle itself was officially ended. So for now, Hotel Esmeralda remains entirely safe for everyone. Please feel free to make yourselves at home. I've got to say, there's definitely one targeted uh, bonding that I probably would do without actually seeing what she wants to talk about, and that's Sarah right now, because she might delve into her past a bit. We have a number of customers checking out today. While I understand why, I think they may be letting their panic get the better of them. Of course, I don't mean to imply that they're cowards, most definitely not. I just uh, feel that they might want to observe the situation a bit more. Cowards. Daddy over here, then. Duke Albrecht has been arrested. <laughs> Goodness, I'm looking forward to telling everyone back home about this. Or I would be, but I'm far more concerned about the Imperial Army taking control of Kreutzen. Hmm, perhaps I should retreat to Ordis while I still can. Master Richmond and Count Gorty have been competing to see who could make more mirror from investment. Count Gorty was winning. Until yesterday, at least. I'm certain Count Gorty must be flabbergasted at the moment. <laughs> Regardless, I must schedule our return to Ordis at once. You do that, Mr. Butler. Ordis is somewhere where we've never been. Can I go to Ordis? Alright, so at this point, we talked to most people there. Here's Elisa. I'm glad Duke Albrecht's arrest went as smoothly as it did. I hope Otto can find some peace now. I'm sure he will. Arresting the Duke was never going to give the people of Keldic back what they lost, but it's the most we could do for them. And we've got you and Valimar to thank for that. Without the two of you, the Duke might still be in power right now. Is there something wrong? No, no, I'm fine. Don't mind me. She's definitely got something on her mind. Does she now? She's got something on her mind, but she won't express it to me. No hint, no tip, no nothing. Half the class went to order that one field study, but I didn't go. They went to a lot of locations that I've not been to. I was expecting to be Pete. Uh, you lost a shoe, Fee! It weirdly looks you makes you look really naked in that pose. Uh, Fee, what's going on? Why are you sitting here wearing only one sock? The sole of one of my boots came off while I was walking and now my foot kind of hurts. So I'm taking a break. Well, after all those boots have been through, I can't... Well, after all those boots have been through, I can't really blame them for giving up the ghost like that. Is your foot going to be okay? Once I've rested a bit, sure. I'll get the boot fixed up after that. You can just keep walking. Wait, how do you think she's going to get to that tailor about footwear? She's going to roll down this hill? I wish she did. That'd be hilarious. I think Fee's high up on the list for bonding points then. <laughs> that is something I do. <laughs> I would do that. There's a very small margin for area when it comes to polishing gems. While my dad lets me work on some of our products now, he's still not too happy with how I handle the finishing touches. He always ends up doing them himself. Ah, the road to being a pro is tough. What do you sell currently? You sell evergreen stew. I have enough cash, but I'm going to save up for next time. 
Yesterday was a real surprise for all of us, even the nobles. But that's got nothing to do with us, so we'll be focused on work as usual. I'm curious as to how Bluck's training is coming along too, so that's all the more reason to keep at it. There are some people here. There are more people we want to recruit to the courageous, but they're obviously not going to come until later, right? What's that, Mort? Are you actually trying to order me around? Not as such, I just believe that it would be safer for us to return while we can. <laughs> you can't expect me to return when my order's just about ready, can you? <sighs> Such stubbornness. To hell with this war, I say. I won't let anyone or anything ruin my fun. I still have some more orders to make, so I won't be returning anytime soon. The master truly is a stubborn one. Admittedly, we seem to be in no immediate danger, but I shall remain alert nonetheless. I have little interest in what's going on in the world around me. If the Duke's learn his lesson, then that's that. If not, well, the same thing will happen to him again eventually. That's just how nobles are in the end. Always have been and always will. I'm wondering how much more stuff I've been gaining over time. Probably not that much when I think about it. Still want to be upgradey grady. More slots never bad, right? That one done too. I'm gonna get people's done so they've got the most they can just get stuff when they want to. While still trying to keep a high supply. I think I've used a lot. Maybe small regrets, but now I've only got 1,767 fire sephith, but we've upgraded a lot of people's ordnance. Right, I felt that that needed to be done at some point so I can get more gems in, but I don't want to use too many. Hey, Angelica! George was absolutely determined to have me do his shopping for him. How cool, you figured he'd at least give me enough time to take a couple of ladies out for a celebratory ride, but alas! <laughs> I've seen you like this, it'd be the perfect spot for a ride. Peaceful too, given that the flames of war finally died down. Be that as it may, this province's troubles are far from over. Their lord was taken under arrest, after all. All the chains around here, things won't be quiet for quite some time. I guess you're right. They can't stay under the Imperial Army's jurisdiction forever either. Well, it's not like Rufus looks like he'll be back here to take on his father's mantle anytime soon. We will love Croyton aren't the only ones at a crossroad either. Maybe it's selfish, but I'm still kind of hoping that by the time this war is all over, I'll find my own path too. I think I'm in the same boat. I imagine then when I think about that, with the very hard being like freed, that Legram probably has a lot going on in it now. Because of course it was still part of his territory. Ish, ish, kind of. It's very near to it. It's on the same road. Isn't it? Or am I wrong? I didn't even know anymore. I'm probably wrong. Sarah! There's actually a dessert that goes perfectly with our espresso. Let's a big fan of them. She claims just one bite can fill you with mm, bliss. Why don't you try for yourself? Fruit parfait. A parfait, you say? Who would have thought the Duke would end up getting arrested? Talk about a fall from grace. I'd like to believe that Breyer would get a bit more peaceful now, but chances are this will just cause even more issues. The city's always belonged to the nobles. It has, doesn't it? Fruit parfait. Ah! It could be like last time, actually. When, when, calm down. Calm down. It could be like last time. Didn't we get the sweet blue before we could buy the carbonara at a store? It could be like last time. Calm down. It's okay. Everyone be calm! Hey there, Reen. Oh, hi there, Instructor. You feeling a bit a little better now? Mm-hmm. Feeling just fine, thank you very much. Though I might have overdone it a bit against those guys. Still, at least I was able to see you kids off like a good teacher should. No regrets here. Instructor. Ah, oh, come on, don't give me that look. I might be here resting, but you look like you should be getting some rest yourself. She's always dodged having to tell us much about her past, but she might actually be making an exception this time. Let's just do it. Would you mind if I stayed here and rested a bit with you? I'd even be happy to join you for a drink, or something. Water, I guess? Really? Hmm? You're gonna be rolling into bars, chatting up the ladies like a prone soon with the way you're going. 
Just take a seat there. I'll get you a little something fancier than water on me. He's already he doesn't need to do anything. He just gets the They would come no matter what. What is this? Phew, this hard liquor fights back. Gotta pace myself better. Can't chug them because they're too strong. I'm free sheets to the wind before I know it. It's better than nothing, but I'll take a good beer or cider any day. Hmm. <laughs> I'm struggling with this cocktail personally. Feels like I could get drunk from it even though there's no alcohol in it. Well, hey, that's just one of the appeals of drinking. I'll make sure to teach you how to savour it once you're old enough. Same way both my superior and my friend did for me back in the day. Was that back when you were part of the Northern Jaegers? Yep. Granted, they both kicked the bucket a long time ago. Oh, uh, sorry. Is that who we drunk to before? <laughs> this operation brought back a lot of memories. Some of them bad, but plenty of good ones too. Getting by back then was a real struggle. Felt like no matter what we did, nothing ever got any better. You came from Northambria, didn't you? Seems like life there was a lot more brutal than I could have ever imagined. Would you mind if I asked just when you decided to join the Corps? Couldn't tell you exactly when. It felt like as soon as I knew what was going on around me, I had a gun in my hands. Not like there was much else you could do to earn a living around there. Child soldier as well, then? They say it was a nice place till the North Ambrian disaster st struck around 20 or so years ago. I only go back once every few years now, mainly to pay my respects. I see. It was a kind of place where death would follow you wherever you went, really. And I wasn't any exception to that. I've lost many people who were important to me. One day they were there, the next they were gone. It wasn't until around six years ago that Beatrix, well, Colonel Beatrix back then, saved me. After that, I cut all my ties and headed down the path to becoming a bracer. You want to know the rest after that? I guess we do. I don't even know what to say. I can't imagine leading a life like that. <laughs> yes, indeed. You won't find many heroines as tragic as me. But, well, what I happened at Warwick's Fort made me realise something. Turns out I hadn't completely cut my ties to that place. Crossing blades with old comrades was more painful than I expected. Maybe it's selfish of me to say, but I wish it weren't. Hmm. I guess this just shows that I've still got a long way to go as an instructor. There's still so much I want to teach you so you can make it through all this, but... I probably wasn't cut out for the job to begin with, you know? I have to respectfully disagree with you there, instructor. We've learned a lot from you, both individually and as a class. Things that you didn't specifically try to teach us either. We learned those simply through observing your actions. Like what? Take what happened at Oryx Fort. Your actions taught us that fighting for the people and country you love can be painful at times. We saw that in your willingness to cross blades with those you once knew. You showed us what it means to be truly determined. At least, that's what I got out of it. And I'm certain we'll one day have to show you that very same determination. Huh. That's why we'd like you to continue teaching us from here on out. In fact, we need you to. I can't see us taking back fours without your experience and guidance, let alone getting through to Crow. Wow, look at you, Reen. <laughs> Teachers become the student. Talk about cliches. I get it, though. If you're that insistent, then I'll make sure you all get the best education possible, as your instructor and as your comrade. Yes, we do learn how to drink like a fish when we're with Instructor Sarah 2. Our bond is strengthened! Enough to get to link level 5. Rush 2. You can bet I'll keep fighting with you guys, both as your instructor and as part of Class 7. Still, I'm really impressed when I look at how much you've grown in such a short period of time. We still get beaten down by people. But thinking back as well, it was really good that we actually got to beat down those other robots. Now we've got a new weapon. Yes. <laughs> Cutscene BS going our way. What's with that? I just finished reading the latest volume of this popular series. Hopefully the next one comes out soon. Would you like to give it a read? I'm sure you'll see right away why it's so popular. Gambler Jack 2, Chapter 12. Alright, we now have Chapter 11 and Chapter 12 to read still in the bank. But technically, they go together quite well considering they're the first half and the second half. We got the rules for my last chapter, after all. How's it going, Reen? Not bad. You're looking cheerful, Colette. I'm um, packing up too. Does that mean what I think it means? Yep, it's time for me to jump aboard and help you guys out. Just finishing up sorting everything out right now. Thanks, Colette. We're more than glad to have you helping us out. Thing is, though, I don't exactly see all the sorting out I have to do being done by the time you all take off. It'd be rude to fly off without saying goodbye to everyone, too. Would you mind picking me up next time you stop by very hard? Not at all. Give me time to meet up with everyone else, too. Indeed. Right. 
Nothing hiding in here. So we've got a book, we've got a recipe. Hopefully that means the next book isn't for a while. <laughs> We're all facing tough times, as you know. The war certainly has taken its toll. Surely you'd be willing to expend the deadline on the final 20,000 mirror for me in light of that. There's the dad. Oh, didn't you hear? Croix is no longer a part of the war. Eh? This poor noble here has been asking for loan extensions for half a year now. Well, he's better than the ones who use their position to avoid paying at all. I'm well, not exactly raking the mirror in here myself, but I kind of feel sorry for him. It couldn't hurt to let him off the hook just a bit. Ooh. 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 What fancy gear you have! I don't know if that'll be better or not. Because you never know what the next tier of stuff is going to be like, but look at this stuff! It's super good! I'm guessing then we're coming back to Brea Hard anyway once we're done with the bonding to recruit people, so I may as well just wait for them. Uh, well, certainly it couldn't have to wait just a bit longer. Please have mercy on this poor noble. Poor noble, literally. Yeah, heard about what happened to the Duke. That's fair, really. Can't just let someone who put the people of Keldic through hell run free, can we? Nobles are just people in the end. They ain't exempt from Nadius' judgement. And if he fooled himself into thinking otherwise, then he had it coming. We've got another order from Camellia. They want ten time items this time. Work's never gonna end, even when the war does. Have I been checking back with Fortune Teller Lady? No. I mean, I'm just literally waiting for it to be uh, a point in time where the the, the recruitment thing tells me to go there? More or less. Man, yes, it took me by surprise. Never expected to run into all those tanks. And well, stuff like that's kind of common by now. So there's no point in dwelling on it. Right now, I'm more worried about whether or not we're going to lose customers thanks to whatever went down. Eh, you'd probably lose a little bit. Right, I kind of want to see fees. I want to see Laura's. Uh... Obviously, we'll pick up Emma's. We didn't last time, after all. Eustace's, which leaves us with one other, yeah? Oh, Alfin's at the airport, too. My squad will be stationed here for the time being. Hmm, noble city or not, our job is to ensure the citizens' safety. Leave things here to us. Don't worry, we'll be making sure that order is maintained here in Berea. Granted, the 4th Division's main focus right now is preparing for the Battle of Heimdall, which means a squad like ours will only have so much in the way of equipment. We have enough to do our jobs, though. We know a secret way in. Hey, your cat's still with you. Yes, it certainly was a frightening experience. I don't think I've ever seen so many soldiers before. Poor Bootsy still hasn't got over it. Shh, it's okay now, I'm right here. Hey, Bootsy. Bootsy has the young cat noise, unlike the other cat. What a peaceful place. It was during our field study, of course, but it's nice to see that it's still the case. This peace could be a recent development, though. These past few weeks might not have been so kind. They certainly haven't been kind to Usus. Still, there's not much we can do now except rest and recover, and we need it. Do we want to have a nice romantic sit? People watching with Emma underneath a tree. 